The murders of two health care workers inside a Dallas hospital last October. It has prompted one Dallas state lawmaker to rethink who should qualify to be released on an ankle monitor. Tomorrow, the Dallas Police Department will host a press conference with State Representative Rafael Anchia to announce new proposed legislation. Our Andrea Lucia giving us a look at how that deadly hospital shooting could reshape Texas law. In my opinion, this is a failure of our criminal justice system. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia responded in frustration last October to the murder of two health care workers at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. That tragedy has helped inspire at least half a dozen bills now before the state legislature. The suspect, Nestor Hernandez, was paroled with an ankle monitor six years into an eight-year sentence for violent robbery. State records show he was caught tampering with the ankle monitor, but again released. He was still wearing that monitor when he came here last October for the birth of his child. Police say he flew into a jealous rage, assaulted the baby's mother, and then killed a nurse and social worker with a gun he smuggled in. In a joint report commissioned by Governor Abbott in response to the shooting, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and Bureau of Pardons and Paroles recommended the legislature make cutting off an ankle monitor a crime, rather than the administrative violation it currently is. At last month, Dallas police told city council they were working with lawmakers on bills that would prohibit the eligibility of violent convicted offenders for electronic monitoring parole and create a felony offense for removing an ankle monitor with the punishment requiring an offender complete their original sentence. Ankle monitors on violent criminals are useless. Uh, and so that's what my biggest concern is. Yes, everyone gets the opportunity for parole. There's no question about it. Uh, but if you believe that a violent criminal should have an ankle monitor, then that violent criminal probably shouldn't, should, should, should not, should not, should still be in custody. Lawmakers from both parties have already filed matching bills in the House and Senate that would make it a felony to tamper with an ankle monitor. Now State Representative Rafael Anchia says he will stand alongside Chief Garcia to announce his plan to increase public safety in response to the Methodist shooting. Saving further details for the press conference. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia. CBS News, Texas. And that press conference, by the way, is scheduled for 1030 tomorrow morning at DPD headquarters. Several city council members and the head of the DFW Hospital Council also expected to attend.